Little Nightmares 2, a game so terrifying, it's actually quite cute. A prequel to Little Nightmares, you play as protagonist Mono, who, alongside Six, must escape the horrific terrors of the Pale City. During my first playthrough, I collected nine trophies for the basic completing story missions. And getting some, by accident. This left me with 25 trophies to achieve the Platinum. My name is Abundant Rich, and this is Can I Platinum It? Little Nightmares 2. Chapter 1. I only had to collect 3 glitching remains and 2 hats, alongside missable trophies. So we started with collecting glitch 1. Surviving our way to the house without setting off any of the traps. Opening the fridge door and collecting hat one. Once we were out of the house, we found glitch number 3, which gave us the trophy for collecting all the glitching remains in that chapter. At this point of the game, I discovered that in fact you could actually hold Six's hand, something I didn't realise in my first playthrough, which will be relevant in two trophies later. We then went on and gathered hat number two. Later on in the game, we got the trophy for holding Six's hand for five minutes. The final trophy was for shooting Leatherface whilst wearing the first hat we discovered, the raccoon hat. Because why not? Fuss! Bring in chapter one to an official end. In chapter two, I needed to collect all six glitching remains, two hats, amongst other missable trophies. We started with glitch one. Glitch two. Hat one. And running through a goalpost wearing said hat. After climbing a building, it turns out you get a trophy for throwing the paper aeroplane out of the window. We then moved on and found glitch number three, hiding in a locker. A little later on in the game, you come across this little tool. In my first playthrough, I killed him. But it turns out, you actually get a trophy for doing the opposite. I hated these kids. In the library, we found hat number two whilst hiding from Scary Neck Lady. After that, we then found Glitch and Remain number four. Five. 
and 6, bringing Chapter 2 to its official end. Just like Chapter 1, Chapter 3 saw me with only 3 glittering remains to collect, 2 hats, along with some very strange trophies, I'm not gonna lie. We begin with collecting glitch and remain number one. The Hunger Trophy by ransacking the vending machine a bunch of times. The Ex Best Friends Trophy, cute. Acquiring the teddy bear hat. And then picking up this poor innocent teddy, chucking him in the incinerator, wearing said teddy bear hat. Pretty morbid, not gonna lie. We then found glitch and remain number two. Chucked some corn into the incinerator. <laughs> Chucked a block of cheese into a hole. For some reason. And got the last glitch and remain. Killing two birds with one stone and play and catch with a bunch of mannequin. The next section saw us collecting the final hat. Which meant there was only one trophy left for this chapter and that was to not kill Jabba the Hutt. Like the previous chapter, chapter 4 required 4 glitching remains, 2 hats, and a bunch of other missable trophies. So, we started with collecting glitch 1. Unfortunately, my game had stopped recording, and by the time I had noticed, I had already collected Glitch 2 and Hat 1. Sorry. But, here is the final glitch, giving me the trophy for the chapter, and all the glitches in the game. In the same area, we acquired the trophy Unladylike for smashing the statue, delivering a parcel wearing the postman hat. And finally, collecting the last hat in the game. However, to get the platinum, there was still one thing left to do, and that was put on the hat that you acquire automatically in Chapter 5.
But wait, that's not it. It turns out once you have collected all the glitch and remains, you unlock the secret ending. So, without further ado, here it is. Enjoy.
And so, my journey with Little Nightmares 2 is over. The game was recommended to me by a friend, and I recommend it to anyone else. <laughs> so, I had such a fun experience. Was it worth the platinum? Yes, it was. All I can say to Taza Studios is thank you so much for making the game, and I look forward to whatever else you release in the future. I've been Abundant Rich. If you've enjoyed watching, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. All the best. Tarano.